You ever hear someone say, oh yeah, I just doubled my money in a few years, and you're sitting there thinking, how the heck did they do that? I used to hear stuff like that all the time, and honestly, I thought it was just luck. Like they picked the right stock, or they got in at the perfect time. But then I came across this weird little shortcut in finance called the Rule of 72. And once I actually understood it, it felt like someone handed me a pair of glasses. Suddenly, the way wealthy people talk about money, growth, investing, it all started to click. And here's the crazy part. It's not complicated math. It's actually so simple you can explain it to a 10-year-old. But when you get it, really get it, it changes how you look at every investment, every savings account, even the way you think about time and money in your life. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the rule of 72, what it is, how it works, and how investors use it to figure out how fast their money can double. And trust me, by the end, you'll never look at compound interest the same way again. Let's start with the foundation, what the rule of 72 actually is. Most people here compound interest and instantly zone out because it sounds like some complicated formula buried in a dusty textbook. But the rule of 72 is basically the shortcut that makes compound interest feel simple, like mental math you can actually use in real life. Here's how it works. If you want to know how long it'll take for your money to double, you just take 72 and divide it by the annual rate of return. That's it. Nothing fancy. No calculator needed. For example, Let's say you invest money and you're getting about 8% annual return. Divide 72 by 8 and you get 9. That means it'll take about 9 years for your money to double. And it works the other way around too. If you want your money to double in, say, 6 years, you can flip the formula and figure out you'd need around 12% return. The beauty of this rule is that it turns something abstract into something concrete. Instead of thinking, okay, I know compound interest grows money over time, you can actually see the timeline. That's why so many investors love it. It gives you a quick gut check on whether an investment is worth your time. Now, why does this matter? Because when most people think about money, they think in linear terms. Like, if I save $500 a month, I'll have $6,000 by the end of the year. That's straight line thinking. But the rule of 72 shows you how wealth actually works. It grows in leaps because your money starts working for you. The doubling effect is the magic of compounding, and this rule lets you measure that magic in real years. To give you a real-world scenario, let's say you put $10,000 into an investment earning 8%. According to the rule of 72, in 9 years, it becomes $20,000. But here's the kicker. In another 9 years, it's not just $30,000, it's $40,000. And then nine years after that, it's $80,000. That snowball effect is why investors obsess over this rule. It's not just about doubling once. It's about seeing how many times it can double over a lifetime. And once you start looking at money through this lens, it changes the way you think about everything, from your retirement plan to that little side investment you weren't sure about. Suddenly, time isn't just years passing by it's doubling opportunities ticking away. Now let's see how investors use the rule of 72 strategically. So now that you get the basic math, the real power of the rule of 72 is how investors actually use it in decision-making. It's not just a fun party trick. It's a tool for spotting opportunities and avoiding traps. Let's start with comparing investments. Imagine you've got two options. One pays a steady 6%, and the other averages around 12%. On paper, the difference doesn't look huge, but run it through the rule of 72. At 6%, your money doubles in 12 years. At 12%, your money doubles in just six years. That means over a 24-year period, the first option gives you two doubles, while the second gives you four. Huge difference. A $10,000 investment could either grow to $40,000 or $160,000. That's the kind of clarity the Rule of 72 gives investors instantly. The second way they use it is for risk versus reward decisions. A lot of new investors get hypnotized by flashy returns like, this crypto coin went up 100% last year. But seasoned investors ask, is it sustainable? If the math doesn't hold up over time, it's just noise. The Rule of 72 acts like a filter. It helps you see through hype and focus on what actually builds wealth consistently. 
And here's where it gets even more interesting. The rule of 72 also reveals the silent killer of investments, inflation. People often ignore this, but inflation eats away at your purchasing power every year. If inflation averages around 3%, divide 72 by 3. That means prices double every 24 years. So if your investments aren't earning at least 3% just to keep up, you're actually losing money in disguise. Wealthy investors never forget this. They use the rule not just to measure growth, but also to measure the cost of doing nothing. There's also the opportunity cost angle. Let's say you're deciding whether to throw extra money into paying off a mortgage at 4% interest or to invest that same money in the market where you expect 8% returns. The rule of 72 makes the trade-off crystal clear. At 4%, your money doubles in 18 years. At 8%, it doubles in 9 years. Suddenly, it's not just a gut decision. You can literally see the time difference on your money. For smart investors, this rule is like a pocket compass. It doesn't give you the full map, but it points you in the right direction instantly. And when you're making decisions that could shape decades of your financial future, that shortcut is priceless. The hidden lessons of the rule of 72 and how to apply it in real life. Here's the thing most people miss. The rule of 72 isn't some magic bullet. It's simple, but it's not perfect. And honestly, that's part of why it's so powerful. It's a shortcut a way to think quickly, but it also forces you to adopt the same mindset wealthy investors live by every day. Long-term thinking, patience, and consistency. Let's talk about the limitations first. The rule of 72 works best for returns in the single to low double digits, like 4 to 12%. Outside that range, it gets a little less precise. For example, at 1% interest, the actual doubling time is a bit longer than what 72 divided by 1 equals 72 years suggests. And at super high returns, the math can get wobbly too. But here's the kicker. Investors don't use it because it's perfect. They use it because it's fast. It gives you a ballpark answer in seconds. And sometimes that's all you need to make a smarter decision than the average person. Now here's the mindset shift it teaches you. Compounding isn't just a finance concept, it's a life concept. Once you start seeing how small percentages add up over time, you realize everything compounds. Your health, your habits, your relationships, your skills. If you're growing just a little every day, in 5, 10, 20 years, your life looks unrecognizable compared to someone who stayed flat. That's why rich people obsess over compounding, not just with money, but with everything. And here's the real-life application. You don't have to be an investing pro to use this. Even with something like your retirement savings, you can run the numbers quickly. Let's say your 401k is averaging 8% a year. Divide 72 by 8. That's 9 years to double. Suddenly, you can see the future of your money. You start thinking, okay, if I keep this up for the next 18 years, that's two doubles. My $100,000 could become $400,000. That visualization makes investing feel real, not abstract. I'll give you a personal example. Years ago, when I first discovered the rule of 72, I ran the numbers on a small mutual fund I had. It was averaging around 10%. That meant my money was doubling every seven years. I did the math forward and realized if I just keep this up and don't touch it, this tiny amount could turn into something massive in a few decades. That one moment gave me the patience to stop over trading and chasing quick wins. It literally changed how I invested forever. You know what really hit me after learning this? Most people drastically overestimate what they can do in a single year, but they massively underestimate what they can do in a decade. The rule of 72 forces you to zoom out and think in decades instead of months. And when you do that, those small steady returns that don't look exciting in year one suddenly look life-changing. An 8% return doesn't feel like much in year one, but give it 10, 20, 30 years, and the math becomes almost unfair for anyone who didn't start early. That's why wealthy investors always say, time in the market beats timing the market. They're not just throwing around a catchy phrase, they're literally living by the rule of 72. And here's the thing, once you understand this, you start to realize the rule of 72 isn't just about money, it's about exponential growth versus linear growth in every area of life. Think about it, athletes don't get better because they train once really hard, 
They double their strength, their speed, their skills by showing up consistently, letting improvements compound. Same with entrepreneurs, creators, even your own personal habits. If you keep growing by just a few percent every year, the results don't add up, they multiply. That's why I say the rule of 72 is more than a finance hack. It's a mindset shift about how growth really works. But let me hit you with one of the most important lessons here. Doing nothing has a cost. It feels safe to just let your money sit in the bank because you're not losing. But inflation's out there doubling against you every 20 to 25 years. And the rule of 72 makes that painfully obvious. If your money is growing at 1%, but prices are climbing at 3%, you're not standing still, you're falling behind. That invisible cost of inaction is why so many people feel stuck financially, even though they've been saving for years. The truth is, not making a decision is actually making one, and usually it's the most expensive choice of all. So here's the bottom line. The rule of 72 isn't just math, it's a mindset. It teaches you to respect time, to value patience, and to see the hidden cost of delay. That's why investors love it, because once you start using it, you stop thinking like a spender and start thinking like a wealth builder. You know what the crazy part is? Once you see money through the rule of 72, you can't unsee it. Every choice, whether you save, invest, or even delay, has a ripple effect on how long it takes your money to double. And the people who get this early, they play the wealth game on a whole different level. If this clicked for you, here's what I'd love. Drop a comment and tell me what return rate you're aiming for. Is it 6%, 8%, maybe higher? I'm really curious how you're thinking about it. And of course, if you got value from this, hit that like button, share it with someone who needs this mindset shift, and subscribe so you don't miss the next breakdown. Because trust me, once you master compounding, the way you look at money, it never goes back to normal.